Hey, what's up guys? This is Foryam again, back with a new Minecraft Dungeons video. On the 26th of May, we got our hands on the Hidden Depths DLC. Probably one of the most ambitious DLCs yet, with some pretty epic new levels to play, and of course where you can find new awesome weapons and armor, which I'm going to showcase in this series. Today, we're gonna check out one of them, the Nautical Crossbow. So in this short video, I'm going to talk about everything you need to know about this awesome new unique, where you can find it, which enchantments are going to be interesting for it, and of course, if it will be interesting for a future build. So guys, let's get right to it. Before we get started, it would be very much appreciated if you could just hit that like button as I spent a lot of time working on these videos. Of course, if you enjoy watching my content, don't hesitate to subscribe. It is entirely free. Also, a huge thanks to all the members who are currently supporting this channel, you guys are the best. The Nautical Crossbow, your go-to weapon for the Hidden Dabs DLC, because this one is not gonna stop your arrows underwater. Anyways, you will be able to find it on both the Abyssal Monument right there, and also on the Radiant Ravine, even though I have never found one myself right there. I think the Radiant Ravine just wants to give me anchors, but guys, if you haven't found this level yet, make sure to check out the top right of the screen. You'll be able to find the secret guide right there. Anyways, my last weapon showcase for the Hidden Dabs DLC, I think the Harpoon Crossbow is a pretty cool one to get your hands on. I mean, it's gonna be extremely useful underwater, right? So this one fires harpoons, not just arrows, and they deal a lot of damage. Let's uh, equip this bad boy for a second to show you exactly how it works underwater versus standard arrows. And for this, of course, we want to travel to the Hidden Depths DLC. Let's just travel to the Coral Rise for this one, as it is the brightest of all. Alright, so actually, I want to show you how weak a regular bow is underwater. So um, if we just shoot this one without any charges, it will not fly very far. I mean, we barely hit the sand right there. But uh, if we just walk a little bit further and do a fully charged attack, this is a multi-charged one, it will not fly very far either. It's uh, extremely sad. But if we equip the Harpoon Crossbow and just click once, you can tell that it travels insanely far, I think, to the very edges of the map. It doesn't have a special effect. I mean, all we do right here is just to hit our enemies with it. And um, we will lose some arrows, of course, which are uh, transferred into harpoons. But that is pretty much all that's to it. The attack speed on the harpoon isn't fantastic, so you might want to go with something like increased fire rate. But then at the same time, I think harpoons are made for power, so you just want to enchant them to deal the most damage. So right now, if we have a look at the Nautical Crossbow, which is the unique variant, you also have a built-in enchantment with a chance to fire piercing bolts. So yeah, the harpoons might travel through your enemies and hit another one, but I think on tier 1 this isn't interesting either. I mean, on tier 1, the fired arrows sometimes gain the piercing effect, which allows them to fly through multiple mobs, but it only occurs every third arrow. So yes, you're gonna have to fire quite some arrows to make this interesting, or all pretty much harpoons. So the nautical crossbow is something that you're definitely gonna get your hands on for the looks, because it definitely makes it look so much cooler in comparison with the harpoon crossbow. And then, I don't know, you could go with things like uh, the multi shot to grant the chance to fire five arrows at once. I think that's gonna be pretty cool on the maximum tier. Of course, you could also go with something like dynamo to add damage to the next attack after rolling. And guys, seriously, if you wanna pack a punch, just add some punch to it. Boost arrows push back with 400% on this guy. I think it's gonna be pretty scary for your enemies. But I don't know, my all-time favorites on these bad boys are definitely gonna be both the growing for some increased damage on long range, and also a casual power enchantment, because this one already boosts the arrow damage by 33% of the maximum tier. If you're having some trouble in the Hidden Depths DLC, I think the Poison Clouds can be pretty cool to play with as well, but it's not gonna make this weapon fantastic. I am personally not a huge fan of crossbows, especially not for the highest Apocalypse Plus difficulty, but this one looks pretty cool, right? So every third arrow will pretty much pierce it right now with the, the target dummy. It happens all the time, which is cool to see, but um, it also makes a pretty nice sound and uh, this is exactly what it looks like if you fire it all the time. <laughs> you can even make music with it, which is pretty funky. 
All right, so there you have it. Pretty much everything you need to know about this awesome new unique. Did you already find it and which enchantments were on it? Well, just leave it in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts about this new item. And of course, if you're interested in another one of the Hidden Depths DLC, every single one of them will follow in the coming days. Guys, a big thanks for watching. Definitely make sure to hit that like button if this video was useful for you. And of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. A lot more is coming your way. Right now it's 4am out, so time to work on my next project. I'll see you guys very soon. Take care.